And hey! Today, today I am here with my girl, my co-host, Kay Renee. What's up, Kay? Doing? What's up? What's up? You ready to get in tonight? I am. I am. We got a lot to talk about, girl. A lot. The Super Bowl being out here last weekend. And we ain't missing it. <laughs> I Thanks know, right? COVID. It's okay. Well, yeah, you it's back, right. healthy girl. Yes. Loving the hair. I'm loving yes. the hair. Yes. Yeah, so we about to get into it, y'all. This is, like I said, the Beyond Platinum A to Z podcast that we do here in Arizona. This is our first, fourth episode. You know, our co-host Millie ain't here with us tonight, but that's all right. We're going to keep this going. Yes. So what's the word of the day? Yes, yes, yes. We need the word of the day, sir. Yes, sir. Pick any word, any word, any, any word. word. Y'all know the word of the day is something that we do. Then at the end of the show, we do a sentence using that word. We give you the definition and stuff like that. So after that, we go ahead and do a sentence at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. So our word of the day is what? <laughs> we waiting on our guy over here. <sighs> Let's see. He hasn't found the word of the day yet. Let's get it. Let's get it. How y'all doing? Right. <laughs> yes, I hope y'all enjoying y'all Saturday. Yes. Yes. We are. We are. Compassion. 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 So we No. Have. No. Yeah, because I'm like, that's no. too close to compromise. But no, compassion no. is a good one. But you don't want to use that one today? <laughs> no. no, it's not. Not that one. That's a good word. No, compassion. No, yep. Oh, because we did passion. Oh, okay. So you don't want to do compassion. It's a totally okay. different word. I like it. Flourish. Flourish. Okay. So the word of the day is flourish. Yes. I remember that. Then we're going to give y'all the definition at the end, and we're going to all use it in a sentence. So, let's go. We gonna start with, can I get some hand claps for entertainment news? Yes, entertainment news. Y'all know we love some entertainment. You know what I mean? So, we gonna get into some of this entertainment. And something I seen over the weekend was um, Willie D and Scarface. They're from the uh, group, you know, um, ghetto boys right mm -hmm. and so scarface went to the grammys mm -hmm. and you remember they had they had a on the grammys they had a hip-hop tribute because you know it's the 50th year mm -hmm. shout out to hip-hop 50th year anniversary so they discussed the grammys without him so basically willie d says he asked scarface what he was doing on the weekend and he said i'm going to the grammys mm -hmm. but he didn't know he was going to perform you know um, what i mean right mm -hmm. so what they did was have scarface do my mind's playing tricks on me like a little oh, piece mm -hmm. he did a little snippet of that which you know that has him and remember when we met um bushwick bill when we yeah yeah yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah when we was in uh where was that texas okay. texas yeah, yeah it was for the south by south mm -hmm. yeah so basically he was saying like that's on ghetto boy so why you didn't tell me and he like scarface is like well they called me man mm -hmm. like it wasn't nothing like that yeah they called me to do it whatever he was saying willie d was saying well i think you should have did a song that you got so many hits, yeah, you could have did a song that wasn't yeah, that. Gosh, but yeah. um, I feel Scarface because he like, well, we both have performed that song. We both own it, but we both been doing yeah. shows. And he said, right. but you know, Willie was like, but this the Grammys. Like, man, this yeah, is a this bigger is stage. And mm -hmm. I, more people would recognize me who didn't know about me. And like so I understand both of their yeah. arguments about it. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about that? You know what I mean? Because it's like, he is right. Scarface like, well, they called me mm -hmm. and they wanted me to do that. Mm -hmm. And I can't just bring nobody. You know what I mean? No, you can't. Because that's what I was going to say. Because 
I like you said, I feel both sides of it. Right. But at the same time, like like you would say, I I I didn't know if you can or not, but Right. Um if he would have been like, Oh, look, um, they asked me to do the Grammys, do you want to do the thing? At least ask him and then right. ask the Grammys people or whatever right. to see if he can since it's both of them. That would have been better, but it would have. Yeah. It really would have because I, I avoided all of that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's like they it was kinda getting kinda heated when they was talking. You yeah. know, and like I said, I understand them both. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's all he was saying was like, Well, you know who owns these shows, you know, right. I don't own the show and mm-hmm. you know, and it's like some other little stuff was coming up mm-hmm. from old that they was getting into. Yeah. But I just feel they both was right, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I'm glad feel. They was able to talk about it. That's right. one Instead thing of that, being extra. Yeah, because it could have been worse. and doing all of that. Exactly, because yeah. that's usually what goes mm-hmm. on. So, like I said, I um, congratulations to Scarface for doing that. You know, congratulations yeah. to you. Yeah. Really, we understand. You know, it's not his fault. They yeah. called him, and they know what they be doing. Right. But they mm-hmm. know that they y'all all should have been called. Anyway. Right, right. They should have been called up there. So. That's what we got to say about that. You know what I mean? I just hope y'all come out with some more music together. Do y'all mm-hmm. thing, you know, because, you know, we love us some ghetto boys. Right. Shout outs to y'all and rest in peace to Bushwick. Mm-hmm. All right. What's some entertainment news you got over there? What's something you want to, you know, you was thinking about talking about that's going on in the entertainment news? Um, Before I get to some more. I want to talk about Betty's West. Let's talk about oh my it. God. Let's talk about it. Yes, girl, because I've been seeing it and I'm just like, wow. I really am. My, look, a lot of people is forced on a girl. That's cool, but me, I don't. To me, she do too much. Right. Like, if you like that, you like that. Okay, we know your reputation. We know right what you known for and all of that, whatever. But she comes off as like. An arrogant yes. person, like yeah, you in, the, in but you you making your money, but you not known like you think you know. Like she thinks she's bigger than what she is. I feel, and she should use this platform. Yes, instead of coming off like that, like oh, I'm the one with the money. That it like right. It's just too much. To me. It, it it is. It seems a little extra to me because mm-hmm. when I first started watching, I was like, when she did the auditions, I was like. Okay, I like the girl. Why is they right hating on her? I thought they was, you know, right. hating on her or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then getting in the house and yeah. seeing how she she's too much. She's too, she'll make you want to. Yeah, and then <laughs> like she'll make a lot of people lose money. Yeah, acting like that. Right. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like it's one minute to stand your ground, one yeah. thing to stand your ground. But sometimes these girls be doing way too, too much. much for nothing. And how she got mad at Biggie for telling her because Biggie was telling her right to me like. It's a time and place right. for everything. We was all supposed to be taking photos. We were supposed to be handling business. Right. And you messed it up trying to fight. You could have waited until we got to the house. Right. Like, and then she want to get mad at her. That was just too much. She, she has, she's not mature enough. To yeah. Me. Some she's people immature. just don't want help. Yeah. You she, know, she, some people she's really very immature to me. That's, I like her. Yeah. But just as far as that go, I don't she like needs that part growing of up Yeah, she got to grow up. Yeah, and that's how I feel about the girl Razor. Just seeing the oh. last episode. Oh my god! I thought I was gonna like Ain't this girl. Ain't that your friend? Oh, I Ain't thought that I was your friend? Like this girl. She is. Yeah. She is too much. Yeah. She is too much for me. Yeah. I like, I like she, the rest she, of I'm sorry. She's a drunk. Yes. Because if that was my friend, and I'm sorry. I know a lot of people be like, you're not supposed to fight your friends. Fuck that. Sorry. Right. <laughs> but she would have got at least slapped like, you got to wake it up. Something is wrong. Right. Because Scotty wasn't doing no more. She didn't even pull her what, pants down. Exactly. She her own pants and down. she wasn't doing more than what Krishan was doing. Oh, Krishan was, was doing humping was the ceiling. Like, <laughs> yeah, she was humping it like she was like, oh, yeah. right. So I'm like, why didn't she say nothing to Krishan? But she know Krishan going to put that. Right, right, exactly. Like they be picking and choosing. Yes. And she took that little 15 minutes way too far and too oh, long. Oh my God. But she's so <laughs> like trying to calm her down and shit. I'm like, man, if. If she don't sit her ass down yes. some motherfucking where. Oh, that's why I'm I'm sorry, I'm glad Scotty. Boop boop. Yeah, because she, she put her own pants down. I didn't like yeah. the way she was trying and she, to lie. Yeah, because you could you could have somebody get a charge for that type yeah. of shit. Yeah. Like, the way you was I felt violated. Right. I'm like, <laughs> girl, right. what? You violated 
did it yourself by pulling your pants down. You didn't have to do all that, but y'all was all humping on each other and having fun. But exactly. she did not. She made it like that girl was grabbing a pussy. Right. She, she ain't do all Look that. At, and then the tattoo that she was talking about. First of all, girl, you talking about some you didn't want nobody to see the tattoo. But the you got pictures and you could see that same tattoo. So I'm, I was like, confused. Okay, I don't know what's drunk, going on. Drunk ain't shit. It's like Krishan said, it's some deeper shit because yes. she said the whole. Oh, I got your best friend. And of course, Natalie is behind the shit again. I'm Natalie like, just. <laughs> you know, Natalie is that one that hides her hands. She starts Natalie, to shit be oh all of them. She talk about all, all the of hands. them. And then be like, come over here and be my friend. Right. Be my friend. And then when the other one come, yeah, I don't fuck with her. Right. I'll be like, I'll be like oh, that's my the God. most two faced person I'm sorry. I've ever known. I like Natalie, but you just. Girl, you know Natalie been like that since, since got Bad Girl Club. Club. Yeah, since she came out. But one thing I can say about Natalie, I gotta give it to her. That girl came out and said, "I run LA." LA. And that Before anybody even it. knew who the fuck she really mm -hmm. was, now that girl is running it. She's getting her bag. Get the bag. They call the bitch go. I can't get, I can't get mad at her, but right. like I said, a lot of them is messy and they try to make it like they don't know right. Natalie been this right. way. Like y'all watch the damn that seasons. Right. Y'all watched it. And y'all know Natalie is like that. And Natalie that, gonna lie. Man, that come around the black family, yes. the black side, and she wanna be showing that she tough so exactly. bad. Cause I'll be cracking up when she be trying to talk good. Right. And shit like, she be <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean Natalie, please. And be dry stitching at the yes. same time with that girl twitch. We moving bricks across the I said, girl, what? We move, you know how we got like, like okay. Right. Okay. Like, like you bitch, to jail. Man. You man. gonna get out, bitch. They right. <laughs> not me. Right. She yeah. got wait, no. I was cracking up at Tommy said, them your friends. <laughs> right. For real, them is your friends. <laughs> them your mm -hmm. friends. When they was in the car, and she gonna tell her and she was, she was asking out. her, she talking about, what am I doing? Natalie was so goddamn scared. scared. I was like, I'm like, not tough ass Natalie. Natalie. Right. <laughs> Scary ass. <laughs> oh, girl. Thought she was funny as hell. Not tough ass Natalie. She said, girl, I'm just asking questions. questions. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Boy, that's how you know. That's how you that know. not the one. Be to yourself get, yes. to play your part. Like, quit Thank trying you. to be who you ain't. You know what right. I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit like that. But that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving that. She's building. I just hope they really start getting to these bags like they so can be. To, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's too and much fight. Yeah, you can fight. It's yeah. for the rates and the views and all that. But that also shows show that, that you got like, you that. look, yeah. girl, teach, teach these girls something like, look, y'all can coexist. We can right. coexist. We ain't got to do all of that. You don't like me, you don't like me, but we're going to get some money. Just like that. That's it. That's because it's like that's the problem with a lot of females why they can't because it's mm -hmm. too many of them. Trying to prove that they the hardest. Mm -hmm. Like, man, let them be the hardest and you be the smartest. Right. Get that goddamn bag right. and quit playing. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, girl, we got to do our own. Right. You know what I mean? Because I really want to show us people that can, you can get bags and, you know what I'm saying, not just be fighting all right. the time. Right, right. Because they do more fighting than they do getting the bag. Right. And it's like, hey, more power to y'all, but I just yeah. hope y'all get it together because it's a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. Around y'all got a lot of talent, a lot, a lot of girls of that's doing stuff mm -hmm. you wouldn't even know. Like Razor, you doing all this? You got your businesses and all that. Focus on that, y'all, because that's the best thing. That's the whole point of having the show. Exactly. Is to get your name promote out there. Promote yourself. You y'all ain't promoting yourselves. Okay, we know y'all can fight. All right. Right. Next. You know y'all ain't gonna let nobody talk to you crazy. Cool. Right. Next. Now, God damn. Talk about. Because what did she? What did Razor say? She cut hair or something. Yeah, she, she do, she, but Tommy kept something. even was telling her right. Yeah, now, that, that's what I like. Tell you. Yeah, that's what I like that Tommy came in there and was telling her. Yeah. But the funny part that had me weak is when she was like, uh, what'd she say? Um, so y'all either gonna fight or we gotta leave somebody here. She said, leave her. She said, no, we ain't leaving her. Right. We gonna leave you because right. she doing what you doing. Right. She I was like, exactly, girl, problem. you not acting all irate. Right, like, girl. It's oh like, yeah, you could see that though. You could see that it's she some, had a bigger some, problem yeah, it's with some, her. Something way deeper. Like you wanted to come in and be Natalie's underdog, right? You know what I, I mean? Don't know why. Push her out the way. Why? Fuck you could that. just been a friend too. She was 
Y'all was having fun. The girl was trying to play games. Exactly. And shit. She wasn't coming on there. Even from Thank the you. jump, I've liked her because she came right on talking about getting some money. She wasn't talking about all that fighting and all that stuff. It was yeah. Cool. So I was happy about it. Right. Speaking of that, though, while we on Zeus, for those that don't know, Zeus is a rising network that has many hood reality shows that started on there. Mm-hmm. And on the last episode, girl, of Crazy in Love with Rock and Crazy Ass Blue, mm-hmm. she was giving that man a head on the bus. I said, what was you thinking about that? <laughs> when when I, I seen that, I didn't know that's what I she didn't was think, gonna do. I didn't think they was gonna show that though. Like I know they didn't show it, show it, but you still yeah, show it. you know no, what no, she I'm was like, back there doing. I'm like, this what? <laughs> and lick that man feet like that. Oh my god! I Between can't. the toes, I couldn't. I'm sorry. He just not she loved him. Outside, all <laughs> she loved. She loves him because I can't. I'm sorry, not the feet. I don't even do feet. Man, do feet. he ain't got no shower, none of that. Mm-mm. He just walked outside and y'all just got on this damn plane. He took them shoes off of sweating. Oh my god! Okay. I mean, he gonna tell me not just that. Wanted her to lick out. He right. was trying to embarrass that girl. Well, like, he oh did. no! I would. Okay, you lick mine too. Right. At the like, same time. Same time, nigga. The hell? Yes, because I'm like, but hey, like I said, if they like it, I love. Mm-hmm. You know, that's on them and they mouths and stuff. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, I ain't got to put my mouth on that. Don't you put your mouth on this? Right. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? That that just was crazy to too me. Too much. And Krishan was out here for the Super Bowl, too. I know. She was outside with my girl Ruby Rose. You know what I mean? Now, I didn't know Ruby Rose because it's a lot going on because I love Chloe and them. Right. And Hailey and... They all just, I wish the females would stop on right. this bullshit over these men mm-hmm. that they know. My opinion about that, if Ruby wasn't trying to embarrass Hallie or whatever, you could have just sent it to her. Why right. would you have to post it and right. do all of that? That's some attention, that shit, to me. Right. Like, it's very much given you still want DG. I don't care what nobody Man, saying. man, <laughs> that's crazy because... It's to <laughs> because women need to stop doing that because you know we hate when it's done to us, mm-hmm. but then we turn around and, and laugh when it's it somebody it's else and doing it yep. to somebody else, right? Until it's your turn, right? Now you mad, you want to beat up everybody, exactly. But you thinking it's funny when it's right done to you. somebody else because I like Ruby, yeah, yeah I love her, but that just it just turned me off. I'm like, eh. I yeah, really yeah, because she didn't have to do all yeah, that. And no, it's she like, come on, y'all. And her, she's, that's almost like some bully shit to me. I don't like it. Right. It is, you know what I mean? And I, and then for her to, this who told me to do that when she pointed to right. Christian, just yeah, like what Sean bitch. said. <laughs> you grown, though. Right. You grown, like, somebody could tell you to do something. But you can That still, don't mean you got to do it. Exactly. So you know what I mean? Follow. Stand on your own shit. Right. So now I really can't. You wanted to do that shit. Exactly. Yeah, you just you needed somebody to else that. to pump you, like, yeah, do it, do it. Yeah. No. So you can say, and then you see, uh, this is what I don't be getting. Blue face sitting up here, acting like he a pimp, all this oh, other God. shit. He trying to impress people like Sharp, and I cannot stand that nigga Sharp. You know what I mean? He is just such a... He uh, disrespectful as hell. Yeah, he disrespectful as hell. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Try to flip it like, no, I wasn't being... And I see I him jumping be... females' face too All much for me. Yeah, but like not that. these niggas. He know what right. niggas to do that shit yeah. to. What I mm-hmm. watch from seeing them on that Jumper podcast. Yeah. He know who to get in their face. He yeah. know who to... do. He ain't talking to no real niggas like right. that. At all. I can't stand them kind of niggas that are talk like that, jump in a female face, call her all kind of names and stuff. Right. But then won't do that same shit to a nigga that right. press his ass. Exactly. Be in his face about mm-hmm. some shit. Cause I'm laughing at him and uh the other little one who always talking about he the prize, the little fat sorry, little heavy set Ooh. podcaster. What's his name? Academic. Academic. Oh they okay. got into it too. You know what I oh, mean? Oh I didn't know that. Yeah, they done got into it. So it's just mm-hmm. a lot of Different stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. I can see y'all two getting into it and shit. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Y'all is damn near the same type of nigga. Right. To me. That's my mm-hmm. opinion. But yeah, it's just, you trying to impress all these people and that girl got your back. You We seeing mm-hmm. the stuff that she do. Exactly. A lot of shit, it's like, but you're mad because she out here having fun, enjoying herself. Right. We see you be she out with your baby mama, doing everything. Right. Having your, living your life. 
because she meeting celebrities. She's growing. She's supposed to. She's a star now. Yeah, that's she's growing it. and getting. That's what you wanted her to be. Right. And now she's that. And you kind of, je- I feel like he jealous. Yes. And, and they don't be talking about She blowing up more than he. Yeah. yeah, when he first came out, he was yeah. and shit too. But now it's her turn. She Why keeping he, his name relevant. Yeah. She like, keeping him relevant. Right. You should be appreciative of that. You should be sucking her toes for that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And maybe y'all do. I don't know what y'all do. You're right. When the camera's off, but still, it's just it's so that much. when the camera's is on too. Because exactly, because she says that a lot. Exactly, and we see the messages. Yeah, she says that a lot. So you be simping too, nigga. He don't act like that when the camera's is off. Right. But when they get on, he got yeah, the, he, the hard shit. And mm-hmm. all that little shit. That's why I said all that bullshit. Like, boy, right. let that girl live. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if you got her, you ain't got to worry about none of exactly. that. Exactly. That's why I'm saying quit doing all that bullshit that everybody getting in your ear telling you mm-hmm. to do with your bitch, as you exactly. call her. Exactly. And nigga, you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know Where's what your it confidence? Is. Y'all know what Where it you is. Secure, so right? That. Exactly. Be secure. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she always tell me, let's get the bag. Exactly. Let's get the bag. Yeah, that's it. That's what she be talking about. I'm that's not worried all. about no, no, some money. Yes, exactly. Just like that. But yep, that's that on that. And then let's talk about some good entertainment news. Mm-hmm. It, um, they say Tyler Perry donated 750k. So senior citizens that was living in his uh, n- near his film studio hmm. wouldn't have to move. <laughs> so yeah, they increasing the property tax. You know yeah. the bill. Oh my mm-hmm. god, bills is going up. They just Crazy. going dirty and right. That's something beautiful for him to do for yeah. the senior citizen because people really don't care about the elders. They don't. Anymore. They don't. It. They really don't. And it's really sad to see because they are who we need to learn stuff from. And exactly. People don't usually. They don't talk to their elders to get no information mm-hmm. about nothing. We so they just lost. use them for money and shit. That's it. Man, we they so don't, lost. Don't ask for no, like you said, no advice. No, none what of that. The right way to go. What what's wrong none of that right so shout out to tyler perry mm-hmm. for doing that for the senior citizens we appreciate that get a hand clap for tyler yes yeah. um <laughs> anything else you want to talk um, about before we go into this arizona news um i got two more let's go let's talk uh, about let's it. talk about um south central baddie season three Oh, goodness. Um, See, now I ain't got into that. Oh, my God. You gotta watch it. it. Okay. So, my favorite so far is, of course, um, Kinsey. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, my God. What is her name? I forgot her name. I think it's Liddy. I think, yeah, I think her name is Liddy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, So, there's some beef on there about... um, I guess before the season happened, this girl Liddy and I forgot the other girl's name, they got into it. Somebody said something about somebody's kids, whatever, whatever. So then they was into it. They got into a fight, whatever. And the girl, remember that audition thing that we had showed you when we thought that she was a boy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a girl. I thought she was a boy. But she's a bully. And you could tell, like, when you watch it, you'll see it. She's a bully. I can't remember her name. Right. But... The girl Liddy was saying that too, like, oh, you you rather try to fight like all these other what's it called? But you know, she was Liddy like, I'm a I'm a fight you, you know. You was talking about my kids, whatever, whatever. They fought, right? And then, oh, they did. Uh, so Cal Barbie, so bad. Uh, <laughs> it was her. It, they they jumped, jumped her. No, it was. Um, they're both transgender women. Okay, and um. I don't know what they beef is, honestly. I don't know what they was beefing about, but they start fighting and oh my god, <laughs> they snatched a ball spot like big, like she had a big ball spot in her head. See, and she was just like, okay, yeah, you got it, you know, da, 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 whatever. I was like, oh shit, ain't no way. And it's another transgender on there. I think her name is, uh, oh my god. I forgot. She's light skin. She's kind of bigger, whatever. She's not fat or nothing, but she's like right. taller and kind of heavier, whatever. And she just, you gotta watch the show. If y'all right. watch the show, y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause she, she. So they got some transgenders on and women. women. Yeah. And are these men fighting transgenders? Are they fighting women? Yeah. They try. They try. Uh, the the light skin one. I cannot remember her name. Oh um, no. She was on. They. 
it was this girl. She she don't give a fuck though. She was like, I don't give a fuck about you being on nigga. I fight niggas in the hood, all of that, whatever, whatever. So she was being just like one kept, you know, like picking at this one skinny, like fragile kind of girl, whatever. And right. the girl was like sticking up for her, like y'all always fucking with her, you know, whatever. Right. Whatever. And um, they she was shit. They kind of started fighting. So I'm waiting on that episode tomorrow see, I, I, to that's... see because. It, right. It's just a lot. I don't. Well, and see, I don't that's like that. I don't agree with. Yeah, I'm I don't sorry. know why I they put transgenders on the right. show with females. Because at the end of the day, you're still a man. You're still a man. You're still a man. And and the, and the hormones. Be a man. Yeah. So my thing is, why not have just like with the sports? It's so many transgenders now, all ages. Why not have their have own, own show? Right. And y'all could beat up on each other, each other. if that's exactly. what y'all want to do. Exactly. Because that's not right for men, mm-hmm. transgender, I don't care, whatever, mm-hmm. trying to be on there. That's just like the sports playing with men. Yeah, that's not fair. And still a man. Right. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't even feel happy about winning exactly. against women. When, exactly. Talk you know what I mean? You. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Yeah, you stronger you're stronger than as you. Fuck. That's why, do they be jumping them men? Yeah, they be trying to. Oh, okay, to because them. it's like, man, what what are we gonna do? Because ain't no way. Right. I'll jump jumping, but when it comes to a nigga, I'm finna. Yeah. Right, <laughs> man. That's not. I'm right. using fucking and anything that's in sight. I'm finna bust your head. Something. Yeah, it's, I don't no, think that's no right. Way. That's gonna it's gonna be something happening yeah. really bad because mm-hmm. they gonna wind up fighting somebody, woman. Yep, and somebody gonna come. Gonna yeah, come brothers, and, yeah, brothers, yeah, whatever. Gonna, be, gonna mm-hmm. wind up hurting them real right. bad. But, but this is. Ooh, I don't know if I can say this. I don't know. <laughs> say it. Then they, you know, then it's gonna be that. Oh, it's a hate crime. Right. I hate that. Right. Don't put your hands on a woman. Right. If you don't want a man, another man to right. put their hands on you, and then holler about that because that's not a hate crime. That's right. Fair. It's right. It's so much it's with all of this because that's the same like with the bathrooms with yeah. the issue. I like, like we saw my last week. Mm-hmm. They have that in. It is too much. Mm-hmm. It's like it's way too much. It's like. This they whole world it. is being turned, yeah, upside they down. They forcing it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like love what you love, like what mm-hmm. you like. But if that's the case, y'all need y'all own everything. Yeah, y'all that's need it. y'all own everything. Own sports, mm-hmm. y'all own shows, stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, like I said, if y'all gonna be fighting, y'all can fight each other. Right. Not no man fighting on a woman. Right. Wow. What else yeah. you got for us? Well, that's. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. I'm gonna have to check that <laughs> yeah. out, girl. Go watch that. Y'all not watching it. It's on um, now. That's no, TV. That's it's another out. app. So go download that. You know, subscribe, whatever, whatever. Right. Um, the next show, the last show that I want to talk about is Snowfall. Oh, I love I'm so Snowfall. Glad that it's coming back. It's gonna be back um, February 22nd. <laughs> Shout out Snowfall. Yeah. I love. I don't know Snowfall. how to pronounce his name. I might. Say it incorrect, but I think it's Damson Idris. Right. I think that's how you say his name, but that's like one of my favorite actors. Like any mo- movie You're that he's coming, in, yeah. and anything that I've seen him in, he's he's a great actor. Uh-huh. And I see he got his girl Lori. Shout out to Lori. Lori boy, Lori. Lori getting it. <laughs> boy, she be getting it. She don't go for the face. She don't. She She's don't. going for the high. Yeah. She like what they call him, Samuel. Samuel. High class man. Right. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Lori, we mm-hmm. see you girl. Right. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that about Lori though. Yeah. But I, I gotta say, you know what I'm saying? She doing what niggas been doing for years. For years. You know what I mean? And if they like it, I love it. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know why they mad at her. I don't, I don't understand, understand it either because it's like it ain't like she cheating. Right. She leaving one and going and to, to the, the next. next and it's like she young and what? Yeah, <laughs> she young and just like they, right. they don't have a problem, right? You know, she don't have I a problem with like no, they different Michael women. B. Jordan, they were so cute Maybe. to me. They were so cute to me, but I mean, everything happened for a reason. I don't know, right? So, everything happened for a reason. Yeah. you know what I mean. It, it got to be in it. And I know it ain't always just the men fault either, right. Lori. Mm-hmm. What you doing, Lori? Right. And I, I ain't crazy? gonna put it on the man, right? Because she might she's a lot of these quiet. women be beautiful. I think she's crazy because yeah. she's super quiet. I barely heard her talk for the first time this year. Right. I've never heard that girl's voice. Right. Ever. And don't forget who her mama is. Exactly. Cause uh yeah. And her daddy. 
Yeah. So yeah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. And then you, I'm hearing his kids is upset too because he paid more attention to Lori, and that ain't even his real daughter. They say he show her more love than he show that his, his child. Kid. No. He oh. show her more love than his own kids. I didn't know. But they say, yeah, they don't I like did not that. know that. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Well, shit. Steve. Uncle Steve. Show them kids <laughs> some love. Please. I don't care how old they is. They still want their mm-hmm. daddy to get him some love, too. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that is what it is. So thank yes. you for entertaining me. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now we going to get into this. Arizona news for y'all don't know this podcast is done here in Arizona on mm-hmm. City Buzz Radio. We are on iHeart Radio, all of that. So mm-hmm. go look up City Buzz and tune in. check us out here. Tune in, mm-hmm. y'all know that Beyond Platinum YouTube. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So Arizona news. Let's talk about something that they barely put in news and then ain't said too much because I didn't know this. Um, 2,000 pounds of nitric acid spilled in Tucson on oh, February 14th. And they ordered people to stay in the house because if they breathed in the acid, it could be deadly. That's scary. They didn't have that on the news like that. They showed it a couple of times and they said, nothing else. We don't know what's right. going on. Um, I need y'all in Tucson to let us know. Is it right. safe? And see, I didn't even know it from the news. I knew because my dad, he had called me and he told me that there was some and they said something about some acid when he was you know driving or whatever right because bro drive out yeah there. so i'm like yeah so crazy. i'm waiting to see what's the update on that because yeah, arizona crazy. ain't speaking on that too much right. that's scary yeah but uh, yeah man that's scary as hell because you know you're breathing that and it, it's too much going I'm gonna look on up what that acid is too because that better have been an accident right <laughs> because <laughs> let me right. find out your tra- Right. Knock some numbers off. <laughs> right. Because right. Uh, I said, okay, so COVID gone and all that. Right. Now what's next? So now it's, but something else happened, some chemicals somewhere else uh, fell so in another state. I have to update on that and find out where that happened at. Mm. That happened too. And so it's like, what's really going on? Right. So is they finna start this chemical war now? Right. Because you know they always got these different wars. Right. And all I ask is, Creator, yes. you gonna take us, take us fast, please. Cause I, cause I can't. man, I'm not trying to suffer. Please. You know, I want to go fast oh, if I do. Oh, and there's some other stuff that happened out here, at Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Rumor is Pinky the promoter, whoever that is, they mad at Pinky. They said Pinky is a janky promoter because mm-hmm. Pinky came out here, got these people money mm-hmm. for little baby, and little baby wasn't even supposed to perform. He was right. just supposed to walk through. But she said, well, whoever, he, she, whatever, yeah. Pinky, said he paid him for the walkthrough, but Lil Baby decided to perform for the fans and people that was in there on his own. But he said he paid him 250 k mm-hmm. and then he left with his money. He said he back in Detroit. Mm. What you think about that? Y'all let him come and do the shit. That, I'm sorry, but y'all be letting him come, and y'all be letting him do it, and then y'all don't raise no uproar nothing y'all always let these out-of-towners come and y'all be so amazed because these out-of-towners be having a little bit of money and they be looking flashy and all of that and y'all just be so oh my god yeah they got money but yeah this was mm-mm. y'all better look into people but see that's the thing i'm not even mad at the out-of-towners because yeah. the whole fact is like even for the super bowl nobody in arizona really made money that's from and arizona nobody wanted to really do nothing Right, because everybody was trying to outdo each other, each other. That's from you. Mm-hmm. When something that we could have did a solution. Yep. We could have put money together, mm-hmm. rented out this stuff before these people even came mm-hmm. from out of town and rented out these places mm-hmm. and made us money. So everybody would have made money. Exactly. If we all would have put in together, but everybody tried to throw their own thing, thing or attach to somebody's yep. stuff that was from out of state. Yep. You can't get mad because somebody came here and got some money. Because y'all steady bullshit. Exactly. You know, and fighting with each other exactly. and arguing about everything. Super Bowl, y'all should have known. Super Bowl, we've been talking about Y'all been knowing. Exactly. Y'all should have got that money together. Since last, since 2022. Exactly. So, I, that's what I feel. We messed up again. <laughs> again. Because 
people should have got together and did shit together, but everybody was trying to shit on each other like mm-hmm. we always do, mm-hmm. or I'll do the next. We doing this, we doing that, we doing this, when we all could have did something where we all for the whole weekend. We exactly. all could have had a building for that whole weekend, rented it out, exactly. and threw different shit for different people yeah, that got different mm-hmm. things. Could have did a fashion show, music artist show, mm-hmm. podcast show. We could have did yep, so much. So much. <coughs> But hey, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Right. And you can't get mad because these out of towners out here and they get money from right. everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Y'all let them come and do it. So, hey, nothing to be mad about. Nothing shit. to be mad about. Get your money. Go to they state and do the same shit. Right. Exactly. That's what y'all want to do. If y'all want to show out, go to somebody else's city and show out. Or show out in your own shit. That too. By getting together and quit exactly. arguing and Coming fighting together all the time. and doing something. Right. Right. So. It is what it is, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It, it it was crazy, yeah. you know what I mean? But um, I want to... Oh, wait, while we're on that, real quick, I just thought about something I seen. I can't remember who the person was. Um, It's a promoter. I think he's from out here. He right. had he was supposed to be having a Super Bowl party, and something happened. I don't know what happened. It got canceled for some reason, whatever. Everybody was mad about their refunds. So his solution, what he did was, I think it was yesterday... He threw another party, a mansion party, mm-hmm. and he refunded everybody their money, and he made it free. It was like, it was uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, so me being who I am, I'm going to throw y'all another party, and everybody's free. Shout yeah, out food to and him. Everything. Yeah, I got to figure out his name. When I figure out his name, I'm going to... Well, shout out, out to you. Yeah. When we figure out your name, we're going to shout you out, mm-hmm. but that's a good deal. Yeah. That's, that's, it. It. that's, that's a good. solution, yeah. Just like that, that see people. He didn't get mad. He he right. understood what everybody, you know, how everybody What's felt about it. Yeah. yeah. So he did what what he was supposed to do. And so, that's how you do it. Yeah. You know, it's see a lot of people don't understand. We all make mistakes right. and go through stuff. Shit mm-hmm. happens. But the thing is communication and just that's let people it. know and that's they'll it. forgive you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But when you do snake stuff or try to run and hide or yeah. things like that, of course it's gonna make it yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Of course, it's going to make people be mad because that's what they was trying to. Uh, her baby told everybody, get that pink. Like, right. that's the motherfucker. Right. That's who like, you I ain't even was them. Y'all need to holler at that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know, and he still did it. So he actually saved Pinky. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So, because he went on and did it for them. Right. But yeah, y'all, it's some um, sad news. Uh, Arizona has lost. A stylist named Preston Scott, who goes by Pierre Scott. Mm-hmm. Um, he owns a beauty salon in Gilbert, Arizona. He passed away over the weekend. Um, uh, he was an amazing hairstylist. He was a cook. Mm-hmm. He was part of the DTP, uh, Down to Pound Motorcycle Club. He was a father and a friend to many. He was from Chicago, mm-hmm. but lived in Arizona for many years. Right. Like I said, he owned the hair salon in Gilbert called uh, Hair by Pierre. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just sad that for him to be gone, because I had just seen him the day before he passed away. I seen him riding his bike. Yeah. Seen him, you know, he always doing, he won, won a lot of different hair shows mm-hmm. when they have their yeah, shows. I, I he him won too. a couple of times, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He was really known out here, and it's really sad to hear that this man passed by because I will watch his TikToks mm-hmm. and things like that. So for, I just want to send condolences to yes. him, his family and to the DCP <coughs> family he had with the Motorcycle Club. Mm-hmm. If you know who he is and you want to go share your condolences and stuff like that, his funeral is March 4th, 2023 at 10 a.m. at Greater Hope Christian Church. That's on 2927 North 35th Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona, 85017. Once again, his funeral will be March 4th at 10 a.m. at Greater Hope Christian Church. That's on 2927 North 35th Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona, 